in the previous video, our vampire Edward goes to St. Mary's Church to confess his guilt. Then he returns to his office with questions needed answered from Dr. Swanson. This is where Jonathan's night begins. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, I just want to tell you guys, I had technical, technical difficulties with some problems of vampire not starting up on my PlayStation. So, it was a bit of a problem. And then, when I did get it to work... I, I thought I assume I was recording halfway by the time I had a bo mini boss fight in here I was recording so after the fight I look okay that should be enough recording for the night and then I thought I saved it and I look it wasn't saved so long story short you guys didn't miss much I did a couple missions for Dr. Swansea I fought I mean I didn't I had this vampire hunter leader guy come to the hospital Assuming I was one of the leeches, did a couple errands, run back and forth, tried to chase down to Sean Hampton. Apparently, he was infected of the disease of vampirism. The guy that we took in part one on the sh on the boat to the hospital, and this is where we're at right now. I'm sorry if I didn't record the whole thing of it. My time of coming here, so I hope I can make it up doing a continue off from this one. I'm terribly sorry, guys. So let's get into it. Honestly, I died a couple times doing this mini boss fight. When you come in here, the door closes. You fight a big dude, a really tanky dude. Then you fight a couple of his henchmen. And he has a flamethrower, right? That flamethrower hurts, alright? I'm not gonna lie. And this is where we're at right here. The wounds on this corpse are deep. The result of rabid rage. If this is Sean's doing, he's become a murderous beast. Blinker skull. Can I go through it? Or do I have to blink? Or is this a... Always gotta be careful, guys. You never know what you're gonna expect. Oh snap. 16, 17. Let me just do my top. Wanna create some space? Focus on the other guy for a second. Come on, come on. Come dance at you, man. Word. Just collect anything you guys can get, guys. Anything. Coins are rarely. This poor man has healthy. just been slaughtered by a vampire. The body's still warm. I hope I don't do anything. Well, not my problem. Try to find something. I just like looting around for ice stuff. You never know what you're gonna get in case you miss something. Let them fight. These vampires and the guys are everywhere. Best over there! There's one of them burning! Alright man, they really want to fight. Oh snap. Really? Is there a way? Alright, let me go up here. I'm 
I'm trying to avoid fights as much as possible. I don't know if this is the right way or that is the right way. This looks keep out. Maybe if I go down there. Night shelters vicinity. Nope. Seen this the right way? Hmm. Let me talk to this girl. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I have your attention for a minute? Good evening, sir. My name is Giselle Paxton, but I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No, but I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. Okay. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? What is it you want? Does he owe you money? Has he displeased your royal highness? I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pants. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. I just need to find him. He could be... Sean Hampton's night shot. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what about you? Working outside at night in this dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me? Mr. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum he manages, I suppose. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital, but he left abruptly. I see. Well, Mr. Hampton is a discreet and dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find him soon enough. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Oh, Sean! Come out, come out, wherever you are. These are good people here. I guess not. So he may he might be in his office, I'm assuming. Wherever that is. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything up here. Oh wait, what is this? More shillings. Wait, wait, I missed something. Nothing I missed. Yeah. A burnt letter. Wait. Oh, that was a nun. Yeah, I like the game so far, though. The story is like slowly, really opening it up. Like in the beginning, it could feel kind of slow and stuff, getting used to it. And then the more you play in time, hmm, you guys could pause that. The more you guys play in time, you guys just you know it becomes fun. Your actions that you do will like you know have a consequence. To everything you do, so that that's pretty cool. There's not a lot of games out there that are like that, really. I mean, in my opinion, I don't remember. I play a lot of games. I can't remember. I cannot enter. How'd I get in there? Is there like a way that I could... Ah, Chandra. Come talk to you. 
just let me loot all your good stuff here. All right, man. I want to talk now. Wait, wait. Move, move. If I talk to you, oh, I guess not. Avoid the long face, doctor. Oh my! Look at you. Is it all that worries you, Sean? My long face. Really? This is a blessing for me to become a skull. Immortality gives me more time and energy, if truth be known, to run a shelter. What more could I want? Since you left Pembroke, the amount of blood that has been shed, it's hard to believe you, Sean. Ask what you will. As the Lord is my shepherd, I will not speak a lie to you. Guys, I'm just gonna ask <laughs> for detailed information. I know I say I'm just gonna jump to it, but I just wanna ask for some detailed info, all right? Just for this one. Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. Do you think this is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. But you must drink blood now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh, no blood. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. Wonders never cease. Scal managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor. Meals laid out before you. Yet you restrain. Good point. And what about William Bishop? He tried to take care of you. But this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze, never mind blood. But have faith. My will is far stronger than his. Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I have nothing but love for all he has made. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost, separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the river bank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. This seems like a setup. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. I'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a threat then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. Hmm. I don't know, it seems like, it smells like a setup, man. Give a dog a bad name. It seems like I'm gonna have to fight one of those sewer beasts again. No, I hate fighting those things. I'm not the best gamer in those situations, guys. How the heck do I get up there? I don't know. I'm assuming it's... Hi, hi, hi. Best turn around if I were you. Step away now! 
serious about keeping people out. Best place to look. On a sewer's entrance. It has to be down here then. I'm assuming. Like to play aggressive at times. Yeah, I need to upgrade my machete. It feels so weak right now. Where to go? This is the entrance right here. I think I'll bump into a level 19 guy. Sightseeing, guys. Great. There must be a way to control the water level in this reservoir. I need to find the wheel. Going down. I honestly did not know. Guys, I had a slow, I had the slowest thing about it. Shut properly now. All right, now that makes more sense. That should do it, right? I believe so. I need to do this too. This should be okay, right? If water ain't flowing no more, I still I don't think I go up here. What if I close that too? There we go. 
I mean, it's not that hard. I just... I was slow at it, that's all. I'm still afraid what he's got down here. Yep, I knew it. Hello? Hello? Skulls? I know you guys are down here. This is not right what you guys are doing. I'm going to talk to Sean Hampton about this still. You blinker, you better be careful. I have this first blood. Try and get myself the full help, guys. Give me a minute. This is despicable. We're gonna jump down, man. I thought we were just gonna go across the bridge. Oh, snap. These maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the sewer dog. Hold your tongue, newborn, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Oh, this don't look good. Learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. I shall snap like a hare's brittle bones, newborn. Dance, are you come on? Yeah, I pick up the new skills, guys. Woo! Too slow. Too slow. Come on. This is what I do, guys. Keep distance. Oh. Oh. 
return to your apothecary and needles. Down, stay down. Come on, that's all you got, Big Daddy? Come on. Your blood is now mine. Return to your apothecary and needles. Bring it. Down, stay down. <laughs> Foolish Echon. Bow down. Pretty tough. All right, guys, we're gonna stop the video there. Next time, when we come back, we're gonna explore further into the sewers and see what Sean Hampton is keeping a secret from us, or seeing how is he gonna change our perspective on things. So, hope you guys all enjoy. Everyone, stay safe. All right. So, Jonathan defeats the sewer dog, and we'll continue to explore further in the sewer. What will Jonathan Connor next? Who will he meet? To be continued.